Tell us what y'all got going on. We're excited. Well, I think the last time we talked was just, what, a month ago? Like right before y'all left for CrimeCon. Yes. So, and it sounds like you had a wonderful time. Mm -hmm. um, we were bummed we couldn't make it in person, but we've been busy. Um, so we brought with us today, Anna, who leads our product. And she can Hello. tell you a little bit more of what we've been building, how we've been building it, um, the cool features we have, what we're planning to do in the future. But also we kicked off a crowdfund. So... Well, we've said before, what we're building is for the community. So we want the community to help us build that. And then now's the time that people can come and invest in what that looks like and kind of get some really cool um, perks along the way as helping invest in us building Uncovered to continue. Um, but yeah, and you know, sky's the limit. We've got a lot of other stuff kind of happening, but really Anna to kind of tell you more about like what we're building and what that looks like. Yeah, uh, man, uh, just in the last, gosh, three months, it feels like it's been so much longer. Uh, well, first, we've done a huge update to the site. So if you haven't checked out our, our site in a while, new update, easier to use, visually just better looking overall. Not that what we have wasn't great, but I think uh, the aesthetics have, have gone to another level, but hopefully it's easier to navigate too. We tried to be a lot more clear about kind of paths we wanted people to go down. Um, but our biggest updates have been in just how we showcase information, which we're really excited about. Um, so first of all, the first thing that people will notice is when they go to our cold case section, there's a huge map. And what we want to do is just start mapping out where are all the cases that we have on the site. So this is, it's kind of a small thing we have right now, but we think that like this, the idea of being able to map all of our cases or see all of our cases, like this is really part of the vision of what we want Uncovered to be for people to be able to get that bigger view. Right now, it's not super interactive. We have some filters where you can filter down, you know, by the, by the type of case, by the state, you can sort by date, but this is where we really want to go further. We want to potentially introduce some basic searching here and there. Um, so again, it's, it's a little, it's small today, but it really kind of just sets us on the path for really how we want to scale um, our database. Um, and then if you, if you go into the cases themselves, you can see that there are a lot more visuals. So uh, we've brought in, of course, the pieces we've always had, the people, the timelines and the map. Um, we have a new section called the what's left to be uncovered section. And this is where we're bringing in what are those key next steps in the case. So what is the family trying to do? Are there, is there a GoFundMe? Are they trying to get a petition signed, hire an attorney, et cetera? Because we know with most cases, like there's something that needs to be done. Um, right now, it, again, it's very oriented towards share on social, you know, check out this GoFundMe. Um, but in the future, we'd like it to be really specific. Like we need this date. We're looking for this type of car. Um, listen to this voicemail. We do have some of that, that type of information, but we're hoping that this can get more and more specific for, for again, those, it's something that Ashley always says, you know, what people, when they think about cases, it's kind of like, what can I do in the next, what is it? Five minutes, five hours, five hours, days. five days. Yeah. yeah thank you. <laughs> um, and we think that this is the place where you can go to do that. So every case is going to have a section like this. that gives you kind of those like small calls to action. Um, Another piece that we're super excited about is the timeline. So this has like been part of the vision from the beginning um, is the ability to, we know the timeline is incredibly important. So when we started this researching to build this product, we knew that that's the thing that people are always trying to put together. The police are always trying to understand a timeline. When you tell a story, it's so important to understand the timeline. Um, so we wanted to be able to actually visualize that timeline and then tie it together geographically with how a person moved uh, throughout different locations. So you can see the timeline, you can see the locations, and you can see how those things interact with each other. So again, this is just kind of the beginning of what we're wanting to do. It's, you know, it's incredible, but there's always so much more uh, we want to we want to do there. So those are the, the really big pieces that we've updated on the site is really taking our cases more visual, more interactive. Again, kind of tying to the hypothesis that we believe if people can see this information in a different way, they can potentially identify gaps, opportunities, or, you know, things that just have never been thought through before. 
Melissa and I have talked about this several times about how meeting Ashley and Rachel, I, I believe it's just Ashley actually at, at CrimeCon house arrest is like the greatest thing that has ever happened to us as a podcast because <laughs> it gives us a starting point, especially on our missing and murdered cases. We can really jump in there and we have a basic timeline already filled out. We have um, sources we can already start really diving into. And it's, it's honestly the greatest thing because it's way better than just throwing a name out there into Google because who knows what you can get. It's very direct and we love that. That's my first place to go to with any case we cover. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. So glad to hear that. It's wonderful to hear you knowing that that's where you start, but then you continue to do your own research and dig in. That's exactly what we want. That's the whole notion of crowdsourcing more information. So as you're doing research on your own episodes, you find something else, let us know and we can update that quickly, get that out to other people. Um, another thing that we're getting ready to launch, if you've been on our site and you've been to Karen Boudin's case, you see that we have a discussion, a case discussion, and that's new. And our intention is as we start to roll these out on each case that we have, that we have a dedicated case captain to be able to moderate. And that's where we can source some of those actual questions that we can then take back to the research community to say, hey, everyone's asking about this. This is what you know the discussion looks like in a thoughtful, constructive way. And then we take it back with Rachel and her team and they're able to dive in more and to see well, what's the next level of that. That is what we think is gonna really jumpstart, particularly the, the research component of the community of there's gonna be some of that passive engagement that we know happens a lot when people come and just kind of see the cases that are there, they wanna experience it another way, but being able to make that correlation back to Rachel and, and the research and the data component is gonna be huge. Awesome. So tell us about this crowdfund event. Yeah, so we just kicked that off earlier this week, which is just wonderful um, to help bring people along on this journey to help us, you know, finance what this next portion is going to be like. And as a public benefit corporation, you know, we want to make sure that the community is the first and foremost of what we're putting out in the world and we're doing it for good. But we also want to make sure that the community is part of that. So you come to our site, you'll see right at the head, uh, you can contribute to our campaign. So much like a Kickstarter, or any other kind of crowdfund you see that, you know, you can make an investment to help us get to the next level of what we're doing. And we have perks from anything from building our virtual wall, which your name will be enshrined on our site forever, that you were part of this. How awesome is that? To um, some really cool swag opportunities. You get a full decked out citizen detective kit, which we're really excited about. Um, and we're also uh, going to be launching our membership soon. So if you get in now, you can get a discounted membership and like white gloved onboarding with our team. So you'll get the nitty gritty, you'll get all of that in early entry access. Um, and then some really unique things like some AMAs with um, Lance and Tim from Missing More Marine, Call Space Media, Maggie Freeling, you can kind of have an AMA with her too, James Renner, um, or you can, you know, pull together your friends and you could do a, a trivia, like an awesome opportunity with Rebecca uh, to do a trivia from Dialogue. So we're excited about that. And if you really want to invest, you could come in as an honorary co-founder of what we're putting together. So um, it runs the gamut, but we're really excited to be able to have that opportunity to engage the community even further to let them be part of what we're building and investing in this in the future and feeling like they're part of the beginning. Because as we've said before, and as we hear from so many people, as we tell them, this is our mission, this is our vision. Why doesn't something like this exist? Mm -hmm. um, so to have people help us build this, it's just really exciting. Whitney and I had went through all the, the different levels and we're like, oh my gosh, which one should we pick? <laughs> We haven't decided yet. It's it's coming though. We're, they're, they're, all of the different levels are amazing. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, we were really intentional when we were putting together those perks of what's going to be helpful. Like everyone likes some like really cool, like interesting things. So we definitely peppered it up with that. But we also wanted to make it beneficial of like, great, get an early membership, get a jump start, get in there, get all these cool perks. Um, you know, especially that citizen detective level, like you'll get discounts on other research tools. How cool is that? Mm -hmm. If you're like us, you probably have subscriptions to those other things, but if you come along at that level, that's all tied into that, which will only help more in the research and the crowdsourcing component. I also yeah. really like how y'all chose to, to cater to all budgets because I mean, honestly, I don't have $25,000 to give to you because <laughs> if I did, I would, you know, but <laughs> I have a couple hundred that I can give you, or I, you know, maybe I can only afford $25, but $25 goes to something. And I think that it's important to, to cover that full spectrum of budgetary constraints. Yeah. 
Yeah, and we've seen all different amounts being given and we're so thankful. And I think that our community will begin to see the returns right away because one of the things we wanna invest in is um, some sort of artificial intelligence to like make a, a researcher like what we do when we go out and research cases. So you're gonna start to see cases come on the site faster and faster and bigger earlier. So, but, but we need tools and we need technology to be able to do all that stuff. Um, so that's why we're asking for your help in this so we can make the site even more comprehensive and touch even more people's lives. It's amazing. And I, I thank y'all so much for what you do. I mean, what y'all are building is beyond incredible. It's oh, one of a you. kind. I mean, obviously, like it's, it's a need and you guys, you guys are feeling it. Well, as we're starting to share, not only with the campaign that we have right now for, through the crowdfund, just more people are learning about us and knowing what we're doing. And, you know, just within this week, we had a family member submit a case because even if you can't uh, support financially, we totally understand. Inclusion is important for us. Not only the cases that we cover, but that everyone feels that they have a place in what we're building. So even if you want to come and submit a case, please do that. We had a family member submit a case. Their cousin was murdered in the mid seventies um, in Indiana. They were a student at IU um, and it's never been solved, but it's a case that, you know, got attention at the beginning, but it's now it's definitely cold and family members trying to get it resurgence, get more eyes on it, meeting with law enforcement. Within three hours, the same case was submitted to our site from someone who didn't even know if the family members were still alive, but they knew this woman because they lived in the same dorm as her. And they have carried this case with them since it happened, since the mid 70s. So two totally different people. I mean, year, like 40 plus years apart, this case has still meant something to both of them, which definitely speaks to our mission. And we tell you all the time that Number one, for people to be able to act to do something more than just listen to true crime or, or, you know, be entertained by it is knowing the victim. So right there, we have the family member who's reached out and says, hey, I need more help. I need more amplification. And then number two has always been, you know, in the vicinity or adjacent to the environment. That right there exactly happened just this week. So we all collectively got goosebumps on that. Yeah. So we know that there's a whole community that could be that third of just being told what to do, how they can help. So we're just excited to see that happen as well. Yeah, I think that's been what has been, you know, it's awe inspiring to see that people believe in what we're doing and would give their treasure to help us, but that we've had so many case submissions. Um, and that is really inspiring to see that people helping people and family members reaching out for help. That's amazing. That gave me goosebumps just you telling me about the same case in the same week that's crazy especially being that old of a case well and to think of someone I mean everyone that you come in contact has some indelible force on you but to know that they simply lived on the same dorm room floor and 40 plus years later she still remembers that person and it still impacts her that she thinks about it and felt the need to reach out to say you should cover this because she needs justice I mean and to know that her family is trying to do the same. And if we can connect those two and then bring in a public that's engaged and provide them resources to do this work thoughtfully and helpful, I mean, just imagine what we, what we can accomplish. I love it. Thank you guys so much for everything y'all do daily. I mean, y'all are truly embodying the, adv the word advocate. I mean, what y'all do every day is amazing. And we can only, Melissa and I only hope to be as good as you guys one day yeah. you're a trusted partner of ours yeah so for sure and that you're here along with us yes love it we are so we feel so lucky to be able to do this work honestly like you know we are all so passionate about this space as you guys are I mean we're all we're all kind of like figuring out how we contribute in in some way so like I, I was th I've been thinking about this a lot since as we've been going through this crowdfund and like you know I'm a like a technology tool person so either I would be building uncovered or I would be building complex spreadsheets and doing my own citizen detective work like I could have uh, you know I think and I think Rachel's exactly the same way like you know we would probably be like spreadsheet spread spreadsheet research <laughs> friends now we're luckily building technology friends so um, you know, I think we all have like our superpowers and we all want to contribute to this space. And this is just kind of how it is manifested for us. And we just feel really lucky 
this is that we get to do this every day. And your yeah. team is truly amazing with what each of you bring to the table. I mean, each of you have your own niche, 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 however you say that word, um, area of research or skills, uh, gifts, as you have so expertise, as, yes, yeah. gifts, <laughs> as you have called it, um, to bring to the table. I mean, Melissa and I are kind of the same way we're polar opposites, but we each bring something unique to the table. And I think that's what makes it all work. Yeah. I think that's what really drives this community because we consistently and constantly meet people in our community who are like, I am really good at this thing and I want to help. And this is like, this is the vehicle by which I think I can help. And these people, I mean, we, we all know that people are doing this work already and to give people a space to come together and do that work, to learn how to do that work better, more different, learn from each other. I mean, it's just literally amplifying the wave that's, that's already happening. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Thank yeah, you guys. <laughs> I just am like excited to even see what's going to come like in the future it's going to be insane that's all oh, I can say. like yeah, I yeah. like <laughs> two years from now it's going to be so different and so much is going to be um happened because of you this I yeah. feel like I've seen so much growth out of your company already since November yes. since we met you in November it's been I feel like y'all have skyrocketed and that's amazing well, Anna, you were just saying you were updating a case and yeah. it was one of the very first cases and just exponential growth of yeah. just what we've visualized. I, so my daughter like turns a year old on Tuesday. And so like, obviously I have like very strong memories around that. So I, uh, I was updating a case and it was the case I was working on a year ago at this time. It was the first case, I think the second or third case maybe we had on the site. And that's back when we had like three cases on the site. It was like one of three. And so I was just like, oh my gosh, how far we've come. Cause her, again, her birthday is on Tuesday. And I was working on this case. Like, I think, you know, at, we were in the, when we were in the hospital, like, just like there was like downtime, you know, all that downtime. Yeah. Had when was baby. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, I still, I have my computer and everything with me, but yeah, I mean, it's just, it is, you're, you're totally right. And hopefully like we can continue to kind of exponentially um, scale what we're doing. Yes. I and that it. was before we even had community component too. So mm -hmm. bringing in amazing partners like you guys, but also just individuals who are interested in what we're doing in research, like that has just grown so much and it's going to continue to grow with other partnerships that we have. Um, we're actually finalizing um, working with Purdue University on some curriculum that they're building out, which is super exciting. We can't wait to get that going and then um, bring that into the community and, and how that can help as well. So um, yeah, it's been a lot. I mean, we've been working on this for about 18 months, but all three of us now are focused on this full time where we've left full time jobs to really dig in to be like, we can make this happen. Uh, so now, you know, gloves are off, we're going to be moving forward. So we're just really excited to be able to do it in this space with thoughtful people like you, um, and other people in the community who want to see something like this out there and want to make sure that empathy is put back into this genre and we're, we're victim focused and we can actually do some, some good with something that we're all interested in. And I think it's important to to note that you don't have to have a podcast to be a part of this community. You don't no. have to be a private investigator to be a part of this community. You can be a stay at home mom that just likes to watch murder documentaries and Google. You can be someone who knows about paintings. You can be someone that knows about, I always go back to the doorknobs from the don't F with cats thing, <laughs> but you can know about doorknobs or construction or literally anything you have read before can be beneficial. You don't have to have a title. You don't have to be someone special because each individual is special in their own right so we I have a first grade that. teacher that has done amazing work and has gotten in contact with um cold case detectives and the cold case unit um she had um in our community we have office hours and she was zooming with me from her first grade classroom so it's amazing how how dedicated people are um, and how everybody just has their own particular skill to, to get these things solved. Yeah. And how the smallest piece of information can mean a lot and you don't know. And we were actually, we had an event uh, last week where we were uh, talking with Jacob from Crime of Your Life and he was talking about this case that he was following and he showed us kind of the outline and it was in Arkansas and it was just all the information that was available in the Arkansas like missing persons database, which was literally nothing but a, a photo and a few points and one of them happened to be the birthday and he pointed out like the only reason that's there is because I went and found that 
that's huge. That's now on a database that people are going like, that is what we want to be able to provide. If like, you don't know the smallest thing that either, you know, that you can teach someone else or information that you can provide that now the birthday is on there. Someone else could take that and run and do something else with it. But even just being able to have that information is, is going to be huge. It's just amazing. I love it so much.